you come and see me, what will happen next? Your vision will be assessed. We will look at the general, obviously once we've had a discussion about your symptoms and gone into that from that point of view, we'll then be able to assess the health of your eye. This will involve often having drops put in and having uh, various um, specialised tests taken, essentially photographs of the eye. We've got some really uh, very useful tools that we never had before that can look at your nerve in detail. You may have had those done at the opticians already. Some people may have even seen a photograph of their nerve. But sometimes you need somebody who deals with actually um, the kind of, who's got more experience of dealing with disease states to know that this, what you have is a completely normal nerve and to talk through things with you. If there's concern that you've got n uh, swelling of the nerve, then we will need, to, or if, if there's even the suspicion that that's what it might be, we will need to do some further investigations. Sometimes that can involve undertaking an MRI scan of your brain. In many people though, it's usually that I can reassure you and let you know that yes, your, op your nerve of sight, your optic nerve may look a little bit swollen, but this is just natural and normal for you. Your eyes have probably always looked like this. There are other conditions that can look very much like a swollen nerve, again, that are very common in the population. And one of those is something called disc drusen, which are essentially little deposits that can form in the optic nerve and give the impression that the nerve is swollen. Many people with disc drusen don't even know about it, and there are estimates that it might affect 1-2% to of the population, which is a large number of people. So if you have any concern that you have disc drusen, I'd be very happy to see you at Clinical London because I think it is important that we establish pretty rapidly whether you have something that needs further investigation or whether this is just what is normal for you. And I don't think you can underestimate how reassuring that is for patients, particularly if you're one of these people who has the very common symptom of a headache. The question is, is this of any relation to what your eye appearance is? And that's hopefully something that we'll be able to do very quickly for you.